That's exactly right, Wendy. Although we have learned from the state dog warden that they are investigating the manager of this pet land in Robinson did let us inside the store. She says she wanted to show us around to dispute the accusations that they abuse their animals. So once inside, the manager allowed us to shoot each animal, take some video of them, and talk to us about their care. We spent a good amount of time with the dogs, since that's what many people have complained about on social media. Those I spoke to claimed that the dogs weren't cared for here and were sick by the time they got them home. The manager, Joanne Williams, pointed out that the care is charted, and she made a point to show us the puppy play area. Another issue that came up was the mice. Now, a photo posted on social media appeared to show that they had been mistreated. The manager addressed that photo. Photo, but she did not want her face on camera because she says she and her employees have been threatened since the abuse accusations hit social media. The mice um, were being moved from one tank to another. There were some injured mice because some mice were placed. Two female mice were placed with male mice. Um, there was an issue with them. We had moved them to a holding tank to take them out and to treat them. All of the mice were treated. Everything has been separated. They are, they are not kept like that. The owner of Petland, Jeff Corey, released this statement. He says, We want to assure the public and our customers that these accusations are not true. Our kennels have always been found in compliance with all of the requirements for licensure, and we have never been cited by these authorities for any violation of any applicable rules or regulations. Now, I do want to point out that the tour here inside Petland was set up. So many people are skeptical that the conditions we saw inside are not the true conditions inside this pet land. Once again, though, I can tell you that the state dog warden says their office is certainly investigating and they will be keeping a close eye to see whether this pet land is in compliance and whether they're treating their animals correctly. Reporting live in Robinson, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Okay, Marcy.